This is the truth about the public schooling system that you never knew. And I don't know if you know this, but the devil actually has a secret agenda behind the public school system. Those of you that are Christian parents, or maybe you grew up in a Christian home, you can see now in the United States how the devil has attempted to come in and take over the home. The steps and processes that the devil takes are very simply put this way. Number one, the first attack of the devil on the home is to separate the mother and the father. You know, the first thing that God established was the family on the earth after he created man and he gave Eve to Adam because it was not good for man to be alone. Adam and Eve began to be fruitful and to multiply and God established a blessing on the family. God never intended for the family to be separated. God never intended for divorce to be a thing. In fact, God intended a supernatural blessing to come upon families. But what happened? The devil began to get into the family and separate mothers and fathers way back when, even about a hundred years ago, you started to see divorce rates go through the roof. Well, what happens when divorce rates go through the roof? A son or a daughter grows up in a fatherless home or a motherless home. But typically in the United States, what happens? The mom will most likely get custody the father gets part-time custody and then eventually it's like it fades out you know my life my parents divorced when i was very young as well i was about eight years old when my parents got a divorce and my father got custody of me the first year i kept in constant contact with my mom the second year it began to fade out and then by year three we had very slim communication now over a decade later, we have very little to no communication at all. Actually, as a matter of fact, today I have no communication with my biological mother or with my stepmom or even with my dad. Why? Because that was the plan of the devil to come in and separate the father and the mother and it goes even deeper into the public schooling system. But before I get to that, I want to cover one more thing that happens once a father and a mother split up. When the devil brings divorce into the home, We've actually proven now that the vast majority, I believe it's something over 76% of incarcerations are people that grew up in fatherless homes. I want you to wrap your mind around that. 76% of people in prison, in jail, are people that grew up in houses without a father, grew up in broken homes. That is a very clear distinction and evidence that the devil's agenda to split up a mother and a father, to split up and break a home, is to lead the kids down a terrible path of the curse, where they can't have a blessed house, they can't have a father that leads them in the faith. But there's good news. I believe that you were a part of this generation on the earth, which God is anointing to restore households, to restore marriages, to restore families, that God is going to take you and the things that ran in your family, alcoholism, drug addiction, divorce, all of the wicked schemes of the devil that used to run in your family, they ran in your family until they ran into you. I believe God is appointing you and anointing you for this last generation on the earth to change the game and change the name of your family. Turn everything around 180 degree restoration for you and your house. Your family may not have served God. Your parents may not have served God, but I believe that you will get married. You will have a successful marriage. You will have a successful family and you will say, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. And I want all the men that are listening to me right now. I know right now, if you're watching this, the majority of my audience are males. You're a man. You were born a man. You didn't choose somewhere down the line uh, that, that you were a man, but you were born a man. <clears throat> if you're a man and you're watching this right now, I want you to know God is choosing you right now under the sound of my voice to be someone that changes what has happened in your bloodline up until this point. You're saved, you're full of the Holy Ghost, you're full of faith. God is choosing you to change your family around, to turn your family around, to change not just your family, but your nation. You have the capacity inside of you to change the direction of a nation. It says in Isaiah chapter 51, verses 1 through 3, Remember the rock from which you've been hewn, the quarry from which you've been dug. Remember your father in the faith, Abraham. Although he was one man when God started with him, God multiplied him, he blessed him, and made him to be a mighty nation. 
You have the capacity to change a nation living on the inside of you. And I believe that 2024 is going to be the year that you see supernatural turnaround. So what happens when the devil breaks up a home? It leads to higher incarceration rates. People are going to jail more. They're going to prison more. They're committing more crimes. They have lawlessness in the home. And that's what the Bible says will happen in the last days. It says that lawlessness will abound. And then finally, we see that the devil has a plan in the public school system, or you can call it the public indoctrination system or child slavery camps, basically, where you take your kid, you send them off to daycare at the public school system from six o'clock in the morning until 4 p.m. in the afternoon. You get off of work, you pick them up, and then the school system, the public school system, which is ran by a wicked and tyrannical government, just had eight or nine hours throughout the day to indoctrinate your child to do whatever they want, to not listen to their parents, to not listen to governing authorities, to believe some crazy type of doctrine about the United States, to hate America, to hate Christianity, to hate everything that you stand for and all the values that you've instilled in your home. I'm going to tell you this right now, and many of the people that watch this, especially the government, they're not going to like that I'm about to say this. But if your kid is in the public school system, I would do whatever it takes to get them the heck out of that as soon as possible. Because the devil's final plan with your child is to get them stuck in the public school system so that they learn how to become some crazy employee that works a nine to five job for minimum wage, lives like basically stuck in a trailer park their entire life, and they never have the capacity to increase. That is not God's will for you or for your children. God's will is for your children to be in good health and prosper above everything else, like it says in 3 John verse 2. God's will is for, the Bible says, I've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor their seed begging for bread. God wishes that you would be blessed, that you would be increasing abundantly, multiplying abundantly, that the rest of your life would be the best of your life. But the devil, if he had his way, he would get your child indoctrinated in a public school. You might have raised them right. You might have raised them in the fear and admonition of the Lord, but all of a sudden he gets them into public school. He gets them going off to some liberal arts college and they come back with a nose ring, purple hair, half their head shaved. They've got tattoos everywhere. They hate you. They hate God. They hate church. They hate America. They hate everything that you raised them to love and to believe in. And they come back totally twisted and messed up. But I believe that because you're hearing this right now, that will not be the direction that your children go. It is not too late. You can turn it around. You can make sure that they take the right steps starting today. And I believe you will in 2024. So what's the plan of the devil? The plan of the devil is to get into your house, destroy your marriage and destroy your children. But you don't have to let that happen. You can hold up a shield of faith that will quench every fiery dart of the devil. You can take the blood of Jesus and you can draw a line in the sand and plead the blood and say, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. We are protected by the Lord. I dwell in the secret place of the Most High. Therefore, I abide in the protection of the Almighty. And you can plead the blood of Jesus over you and your family today. And the government won't have them. The devil won't have them. This culture won't have them. But God will determine their destiny in life. Look, if you know that all these things that I'm saying are true and they're not just some crazy conspiracy theory, I want you to give this video a thumbs up and I want you to watch the video that's popping up on your screen right now. I'm going to go into more detail on this next video about what is really happening in the public school system and why you need to be aware of it. And I'm going to teach you exactly how to conquer what the public school system is teaching to children today. I bless you. I love you. And I'll see you in the next one.